Reporting work. Dialogue one. Excuse me, may I come in? Yes, please. Mr. John, this is the project plan you asked me to make. Okay, you did it rapidly. Thank you. Could you introduce me the main parts of the plan? Of course. The plan includes three parts. The first part is the background of the project. The second part is the steps, and the last part is the expected result. Good. I got the main points of it. Do you have any suggestions? After I read it in detail, I will tell you my opinion. Okay. I will alter it according to your opinion. Please wait for my call. Dialogue two. Mr. Paul, do you have time now? Yes. Do you remember the agent we met last time? Sure. What's wrong? We had a long meeting this Monday. He has agreed to the items of the draft agreement we apply. That's good. The agent. Does he seem reliable to you? Yes, I think so. He's got a lot of experience. Okay. When is your next meeting with him? We're meeting him this Wednesday, just to sort out some final details. Fine. Let me know what happens. Of course. Make everything clearly, and then we will decide the time of the signing ceremony. I see. Accepting assigned work. Dialogue one. Good morning. This is the first day for you to work here. I hope you'll like your job. Good morning, Miss Lucy. I'm a newcomer, and I've got a lot need learn from you. You'll spend most of this week to be familiar with all the work in the office. Would you please tell me what is the particular work to me? The main duty is to keep the file in order. Is there anything else I should do? Yes. You are responsible for answering the calls, then transferring or taking messages. Okay. If you have any questions, you can ask me at any time. Dialogue two. Linda, I have something important to discuss with you. What's up? Do you know we will have products analyzing meeting tomorrow? Yes, I know. Mary is making preparations for that. Don't bring it up. Mary is too careless to arrange someone to take minutes. Do you have any idea? You need to leave your job at hand. You'll take meeting minutes tomorrow, which is the top priority. Okay. What need I prepare? Nothing special. I advise you to bring the recorder pen in case of emergencies. Being praised. Dialogue one. Jack, you really did a good job this time. You flatter me. It was really a challenge to me. But you did it and did it well. Thank you for saying so. Your project made much profit for the company. If not having the support from you, I couldn't have got the achievement. The board decided to give you a bonus. I would appreciate that. Dialogue two. Mr. Smith, how about your visit? My visit has proved to be a fruitful one. Great. I think half of the credit should go to you. You are exaggerating. You work with high efficiency. Never did I expect you to finish it in such a short time. I'm really glad to hear these. I will recommend you as the office director. I will treasure the opportunity. I'm sure you will do better than the current director. Explaining faults.
Dialogue 1 Lucy, how is the construction work of a supermarket going? I'm afraid there will be a delay of two weeks. What's holding things up? The supplier didn't provide the construction materials we need on time. Can I ask who is in charge of the matter? I'm sorry, it's my fault. Since these things happen, what have you done to change the situation? I put an advertisement on the newspaper and found a new supplier. When will it be handled? Next Monday. Dialogue 2 Did anybody receive a printer last week? Yes, I got it, and I signed the delivery note. Where is the delivery note? In my drawer. Don't you know that's the only proof the accounts department has that the goods were delivered? I didn't realize I should have given it to them as soon as it arrived. I'm terribly sorry. You've had us searching high and low ever since the invoice arrived. The trouble is that I don't know anything about these documents, and I thought it was just a receipt. Making Proposals Dialogue 1 Excuse me, manager. What's up, Philip? I have a proposal to increase our sales. Do you have any particular plan? We should increase our expenditure on advertising. Through advertisements, we can make our products well known to everyone. I see what you mean. The conditions at present make worthwhile the expense of advertising. So I suggest allowing advertisement department a subsidy of 10,000 yuan for strengthening our publicity. Good idea. Could you write down your proposal to a report? Sure. Dialogue 2 In my opinion, we are going to have a problem about the budget. How is the problem? According to the factory, it will cost about 30% more than initially projected. It is said that we underestimated the cost. But if sales go as well as they should, that's still well within our profit margin. What do you mean? In other words, proceeds from the sales of the first order will easily cover the cost of the second order. I see. We only need a budget increase for the first order. Exactly. We must report it to the financial officer, because all budget decisions must be approved by him. Asking for resignation. Dialogue 1 Excuse me, may I come in? Yes, please. I've made a tough decision, Mr. Philip. Here is my resignation. Could you tell me why you made this decision? I've been trying, but I don't think I'm up to this job. Are you certain? Yes, it is my decision after deep consideration. Okay, good luck. Thank you. Dialogue 2 Mr. Paul, I'm sorry to bring up my resignation at this moment, but I've decided to study abroad. Which university will you go? The Cambridge University. That is a university with prestige, and I believe you will get a lot. I think so. It is really a good chance for me. Absolutely. When will you leave? I will go in August, because the new semester will begin in September. Well, before you leave, deliver your works to Jane. Yes, I will tell her how to do. Okay. Applying for job transfer. Dialogue 1 May I come in, Mr. Brown? All right. 
Come in, please. I want to talk with you about my job. What's wrong? I want to leave the personnel department. Do you think I could put in for a transfer? Which department do you want? Marketing department. Why do you want to do this? There is no room for the kind of career growth I would like to have. I want my work to be recognized and rewarded. Okay, I will think about it. Dialogue 2 Paul, I always like to get to the point, and I'm not going to beat around the bush. Yes, please. Frankly speaking, I'm not very pleased with my job now. Really? Why do you think like that? I found that the colleagues of mine were not easy to work with, and what I do seems so boring. Have you been doing your best? Yes, so I want to work somewhere else. I mean, a different sort of job. I think I understand how you feel. I'm glad you told me. I will try to fit you in somewhere else. Being fired. Dialogue 1. Betty, could you come in? I'd like to have a word with you. What's up? Well, it's hard to say, but I'm sorry to tell you that our company decided to fire you. What? Fire me? Concerning your work performance during this year, the board is not satisfied with your work attitude. In what respect, if you don't mind telling me? Your work attitude is not active, and the results seem to be frustrating. Could you give me another chance? I'm sorry. It's all been decided. Dialogue 2 Manager, did you call me? Yes, I'd like to talk with you. What's the problem? I'm afraid you are the problem. What do you mean? You are fired. Why? Your work doesn't meet the quality that we require for our employees. Additionally, you don't work well with the other employees. If it is that important to you, I'll make a point of getting along with them. It's too late. We are downsizing our workforce. I don't think that's fair. Asking for leave. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, manager. I wonder if it is possible for me to ask a half day off tomorrow. What's the matter? I must have driving tests tomorrow. Have you passed the written exam? Yes, I passed it last month. Well, the driving test will be tomorrow morning or afternoon. It should be tomorrow morning. We will have a regular meeting next morning. I suppose you will have to have that test. So we will put the meeting off to tomorrow afternoon. Try not to be late. All right. Thanks a lot. Good luck. Dialogue 2 Susan, do you have a minute? Yes, what's up? I had a call just now. My mum is in hospital. I'd like to ask one week off to take care of her. I'm sorry to hear that. Is that serious? I don't know. The doctor asked her to be in hospital and have more checkups. Don't worry. It may be a routine medical examination. I hope so. I'm impatient to go back. Take it easy. I will arrange someone to take over your job. You are so considerate. Wish your mother would get well soon. Asking for annual leave. Dialogue 1 Susan, I'd like to apply for my vacation. In your opinion, which period is available? You should fill the absence request first, and the personnel department will notice you. 
Oh, I see. Have you got any idea where you would like to go in your vacation? I'm thinking of taking a trip to Yunnan, which is a city I have always wanted to see. Yes, it is fantastic to get a break in this kind of place. I went there last year. How do you plan for your vacation this year? I haven't decided where to go. Maybe I will choose Sanya. You must like the beach. Yes, I like lying on a beach and being lazy. This seems attractive. Dialogue 2 I'd like to talk to you about my vacation hunter. I'm just going to draw up the holiday rotation this year. So, go ahead and tell me what you want. Well, I'm planning to have three weeks leave in January, and I want to use my vacation days for this year. Going abroad, I suppose. Yes, I want to go back to China to see my parents. Why did you choose January? Because we celebrate the Spring Festival in January this year, and it's our tradition to have a family reunion then. All right, I'll do my best to meet your request. That's very kind of you, Hunter. Thank you very much. No problem. Asking for promotion. Dialogue 1. Good morning, Paul. Good morning. Anything I can do for you? I have been working as an accountant assistant for a year. I'd like to ask for a chance of promotion. What's in your mind? I suppose I could work as a staff accountant in our company. Why do you have this opinion? In fact, I have been doing the job of accountant since last April, and I put everything in order. Okay. I will give you this chance. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. I will make the best effort. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, sir. Yes, what's wrong? It is my request for promotion. Which position would you like to be? I'd like to be a project manager. Could you give me some reasons? In accordance with the rules of our company, if someone takes the position of project manager assistant for three years and makes prominent contribution, he will be promoted to project manager. I have been as the assistant for three years, and the X Theater project I take on has completed successfully. You are right. Actually, the board of directors have discussed about your promotion. Your application will be approved soon. Thank you. Don't mention it. That is the result of your effort. Congratulations. Asking for pay raise. Dialogue 1. Mr. Brown, is it convenient for you to talk with me? Yes. Come in and sit down. I wonder to know your opinion about my work in these two years. I have been paying attention to your performance since last year, and I'm impressed. You have done a perfect job, and your project made much profit for the company. Based on the annual evaluation, should I ask for a pay raise? Sure. I will inform the general manager about this with your application. But I've already submitted it to the personnel department. Okay. I estimate that your monthly gross salary will increase by $1,000. That will be good. Dialogue 2 Manager, it is my annual summing report. Well, have you attained permanent status? Yes, I attained permanent status last month. I wonder whether I will qualify for a raise or not. In accordance with established practice, The salary will be raised about 30% after probational employees get permanent status. But I didn't find the raise of my salary. That is the problem made by the personnel department. You should ask them. I see. I appreciate your help. That's all right. Asking for retroactive pay. Dialogue 1. Manager, I wonder why my salary is deducted this month. 
I demand a retroactive pay. Because you neglect your duty. Would you explain it clearly? A notice of criticism about your department is circulated. Do you know? Yes, but it is not my responsibility. But everyone in your department should take responsibility for that. There are no such regulations in the management rules of our company. We have the right to decide the pay of our employees. It's unfair. You should protect the legal rights and interests of the employees. The employees must submit to our decision. Dialogue 2 Manager, you promised to pay overtime, but we still haven't got it. Due to the influence of global economic recession and productive depression of our co company, our products don't sell well. It has nothing to do with us. You should keep your promise. I know it is not reasonable to work overtime without extra pay, but. In fact, my salary has remained the same for one year, even when our company was operating well. But it's not proper to complain to the president at this time. I don't want to be so considerate. If you don't take it seriously, I shall resign. Please take your time. Maybe things will change for the better. I look forward to a reply as soon as possible. Inquiring about bonus. Dialogue 1. Jessica, do you have a moment? Yes, what's on your mind? I'd like to inquire about my bonus this year. Please. I'm a bit upset about this year's bonus. I was really expecting a little more. Are there any problems with my work? No, it is nothing related with your work. Our company was negatively impacted by the financial crisis. We've all had to cut back. Will there be any improvement next year? I'm hoping next year's going to be better. Dialogue 2. Mary, I want to check my bonus this month with you. Okay. Look at here, there's no mistake. Why my bonus is less than last month's? Your bonus is deducted this month. I can't see why my bonus is deducted this month. Our sales profits decreased a bit this month. That's why we get less. The bonus is so less that I don't know how to live this month. It is the rules of our company. I have no measures. Contacting clients. Dialogue 1. Hello, is that Mr. Black? Yes, please. It is Jack from Indian Iron Works. I'm sorry, you are? We met in Shanghai International Exhibition last month. You told me you expected to get the brochure of our products. Yes, that rings a bell. Is it convenient? For you to tell me your email address. Okay, please write it down. It's C E Y S E T at hotmail.com. Dialogue 2 Hello, is that ABC Investment Consultant Company Limited? Yes, it is. It is the sales manager from X Telecommunications Company. What can I do for you? Do you always dial international distance calls or domestic distance calls? Yes. We have favorable terms recently that could help you save telephone fare. How can I know the details about that? You can visit our website. There is detailed introduction about that. Okay. If necessary, I will contact you. Meeting new customers. Dialogue 1. How do you do? How do you do? Are you Mr. Black from A Company? Yes, I am, and you must be Peter. 
Yes, I represent our company to meet you and give you an introduction about our products. Well, let's start. We'll start with an orientation video. It runs about 20 minutes. Anything else? We have some reports to show you the background information. Dialogue 2 Nice to meet you, Mr. Brown. You are? Here's my business card. I'm Jack, the new sales manager of LE Company. Glad to meet you. Here is mine. Is Mr. Liu your predecessor? Yes. I have heard a lot about you from him, so I've been looking forward to meeting you. I cooperated with Mr. Liu well, and I hope we'll cooperate better. I hope so. If you have anything about our business, just give me a call. Ordering products. Dialogue 1. Good morning, Mr. John. Glad to meet you, Lily. I'm really glad that you can meet with me today to discuss the details of the order. We need those items urgently. I thought if I met with you face to face, it would expedite the process. Which model do you want to order, and how many? We want to order S40 for 500 sets. Okay. Do you know our quoted price? The price you quoted me is $100 per set. That's correct. We'll arrange delivery immediately. Perfect. Dialogue 2 Hello. Welcome to our corporation. Hello. Thanks for your invitation. Could we go to the showroom and I will show you around? We have all kinds of products displayed there. Great! Our company is a big business in office facilities. You may choose whatever you like. I like to order some new filing cabinets and desk units this time. How many do you want? 50 units totally. Okay. Still be paid by the price negotiated. Done. Bargaining. Dialogue 1. Here is our price sheet on a CIF basis. May I go over the sheet right now? Sure, take your time. I think your prices are much too high. You know that the cost of production has been skyrocketing in recent years. Honestly speaking, We've consulted the prices from other companies. We only ask that your prices be comparable to others. Well, we can consider making some concessions in our prices. How much do you mean then? To get the business done, we can reduce our prices by 5%. I see. I will call my home office and see what they say. Dialogue 2 I believe you've got our price list. Are you interested in our products? Your products are good, but the price is high. I think our price is very favorable. You can hardly get such an attractive price from other suppliers. It would be impossible for us to push any sales at such a price. What's your proposal? Can you give me a rough idea? The reduction is at least 10%. 10% is impossible. That leaves us almost no profit. But the order is a large one. You could get profit. The reduction is 8% at most. If that's the case, I'll have to go somewhere else. Discussing payments. Dialogue 1. Let's start out to discuss the question of payment terms. When we deal with a new customer, we insist on payment by LC. To open a LC will add to the cost of our products. However, as you know, payment by LC is the safest method. You are the new customer of ours, so... Can you be a bit more flexible and bend the rule a little? 
Sorry, I'm afraid not. Well, if you promise to affect shipment one month earlier, we will open a LC. As for your request, I'll phone our company to see what they say. When will you let me know your answer? Tomorrow afternoon. Dialogue 2 We are satisfied with your products. However, what are the terms of your payment? The terms are flexible. What are they? Cash option and offering financing. Is the advance payment necessary? Yes, it is. The advance payment is 20% before delivery. How about cash option? The balance due should be paid after you got the goods. With the cash option, do you mean only cash? Or will you take other forms of payment? We also accept a certified check or a direct bank remittance. Handling Complaints Dialogue 1 I want to talk to your manager. I'm the manager. Please have a seat and tell me what the matter is. I have a complaint to make. Go ahead, please. I bought a mobile phone here yesterday, but I found the keypad wasn't flexible after I went home. Can I take a look at the mobile phone, please? Sure. Look, it doesn't work at all. Do you take the invoice with you? Yes, here you are. Okay, I'll change another one for you. Is it okay? All right. Dialogue 2 I've come to ask about my dress. I haven't got it yet. May I look at your invoice? Here it is. I'll have a check. I'm sorry, it isn't ready yet. But it was supposed to be ready last week, and I have been waiting for the delivery for days. I'm terribly sorry. We're very busy at present, so we get a little bit behind. That's your problem. You ought to do something to speed up. I understand how you feel. I will ask them to run the dress up for you. I'm sure it will be ready tomorrow. All right, that's only what you can do. Making Claims Dialogue 1 The goods you sent us did not meet our specifications, so we have to file a claim against you. Please don't be so angry. Could you tell me the reason? Most of the goods were underweight. We've already checked all the goods carefully before delivery, and it shouldn't happen. In addition, we feel that there were too many defective items. I promise I will investigate these problems. Please let us know the result of the investigation and the solutions to the problems. Yes, we will entertain a claim if there are adequate evidences. Look forward to your reply soon. You will. Dialogue 2 James, we've received your notice of claim. That's why I came to discuss the matter with you in person. The present case is too serious to be overlooked, so we feel we have to file a claim on you. Let's examine the details first. You complained that about 30% of the goods were found damaged. Yes, upon its arrival at our port, they were immediately examined carefully. We were very surprised to find that 60 cases of goods were damaged. Before I left, I checked up on the condition of the shipment and found nothing in our record indicating any damage. Did you find any other reasons? It is estimated that careless handling while being loaded onto the ship caused the damage. We suggest that the total value of the parcel should be reduced by 30% and that you should give us an allowance. Well, we shall send you a letter confirming that. While I appreciate your attitude towards this case and hope everything will be smooth in the future business. Making a Revisit
Dialogue 1. Hello, is that Miss Wong? Yes, who is that? This is customer service from CE Mobile Phone Company. What's wrong? Last month, you bought a cell phone in our company. We want to make a revisit. Okay, go ahead, please. Are you satisfied with our products? Yes. How would you rate our products? It's full-fledged and easy to use. Thank you for your supporting to our products. It's my pleasure. Dialogue 2 Hello, Mr. Wang. We just drop in to see how things are going with your machine. So far, so well. Our products are easier to operate than our competitors, right? In fact, it is. But I think it is a little expensive. Why don't you think it in this way? It's more expensive, but much better value for money. If there is indisposition, what should I do? If anything is wrong with your machine, please don't hesitate to call us. Okay. This is the introduction of our new products. If you need them, please call us. I will. After Sales Service Dialogue 1 Hello, is that SE Service Center for customers? Yes, what can I do for you? I can't find the drivers for my cell phone. What should I do? Could you tell me which type your cell phone is? Okay, W600X. You can download the corresponding drivers from our website, or I will send you an email. The website can't be opened, so please send an email to me. Please tell me your email address. abc at yahoo.com.cn Okay, I will send it at once. Please check it. Thank you. You're welcome. Anything else I can do for you? Nothing. Dialogue 2 Hello, this is Client Service Center. Hello, I just find the air conditioner doesn't work. What should I do? May I have your name and your present address? I'm Robert at room 1103, number 25, Jones Boulevard. I will contact our nearest agent, and they will send someone round immediately to check the problem. Okay. By the way, when did you buy it? Half a year ago. It is still under warranty, so it's free for repairing. I hope the maintenance man will come soon. Okay. Picking up clients. Dialogue 1 Excuse me, are you Susan from Eastern Electronics? Yes, I am. I'm just waiting for you. I'm Wang Hua, the secretary for the manager, Mr. Lee. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Welcome to China. Mr. Lee asked me to meet you and show you to your hotel. Thank you very much. Is it your luggage? Yes. Let me take it for you. Thanks, I can handle it. Dialogue 2 Susan, here I am. I'm so glad to meet you in Beijing. So am I. Thank you for picking me up. How was your flight? Was it comfortable? It was quite good, but it was awfully long. We've booked a Western-style room for you. You will have a good rest later. It's so nice of you. You must be hungry. Shall we get something to eat first? Great. I'm keen to have the delicious Chinese food. Hope you will be satisfied with our arrangement. Visiting Dialogue 1 we are proud and honored to have every guest to visit our company. Thank you very much. I hope you can get a picture of what our business is through my introduction. 
Okay. Our company was established in 1890. We specialize in manufacturing jeans and exporting them to all over the world. The first product was named by the founder's name. Could I ask what the turnover was last year? Sure. It's about $10 million last year, and our business is still growing steadily. Your company really has strength. Dialogue 2 It's me who will lead you to visit our company today. First of all, I want to extend my warmest welcome to all of you on behalf of the company. Thank you. This is our office block. We have all the administrative departments here. What's that building opposite us? That's the warehouse where the larger items of instruments are stored. If I order an apparatus, how long would I wait for the delivery made to our company? Sorry, I'm afraid you have to ask the sales manager. Okay. We will visit the assembly shop next. This way, please. Receiving customers. Dialogue 1. Good morning. Can I help you? Good morning. Is this Sunshine Computer Limited? Yes, it is. I have an appointment with the sales manager at 10 o'clock. May I have your name, please? Philip Wong. I'm from the GL Trading Company. Let me see. Ah, yes, Mr. Wong. Please take a seat and wait a moment. I'll tell the manager's secretary. She will come down soon. Dialogue 2 Hello, does your company deal with exhibition? Yes, who would you want to meet? I want to know the basic information of the company. It is the brochure of our company. There is the company's introduction in the brochure. Besides, you can log onto our website. The URL is also in the brochure. Okay, I also want to make an appointment with your sales manager. When do you want to see him? The day after tomorrow? No problem. Visiting clients. Dialogue 1. Mr. White, I'm so happy to visit you. Welcome to our company, and it's an honor to meet you here. We originally planned to visit you last week, but we heard you went to London on business. Yes, I'm sorry. I just came back yesterday. Does everything go well? Yes, it surely does. Basing on the consensus we've reached last meeting, we made this planning map and bring it to you, by the way. Okay, I will give it to the development department, and they will contact you. We will wait for your reply. Dialogue 2 Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Smith. I haven't seen you for a long while. How are you? Fine, thanks. And you? Busy as usual. I want to meet Mr. Wong. And I have something important to talk about. Unfortunately, he was away this morning. Do you know when he will come back? He won't be back till 13.30. I can't wait that long. I should make an appointment in advance. You can try to reach him by phone. Seeing off clients. Dialogue 1. Excuse me, is Mr. Brown in? Yes, come in, please. Have you packed up your things, Mr. Brown? Wait for five minutes more. Don't worry, I will wait for you in the hall. Okay. Five minutes later. Everything is in order. Okay, I will see you off to the airport. It's very kind of you to come to see me off. It's my pleasure. Dialogue 2. They begin to register. It's time to leave. 
Thank you for seeing me off at the airport, Yuan Yuan. It's my pleasure. I miss you. I will too. Thank you for everything you've done for me during my stay in Shanghai. You're welcome. I hope you can come again to our next exhibition. I hope so too. Goodbye, Yuan Yuan. Goodbye, Mr. Wolf. I wish you a very pleasant journey home. Morning greetings. Dialogue one. Good morning, Paul. Hi. Good morning. You are so early today. Yes, traffic wasn't much today, so I made it to the office earlier. I see. How long does it take you to reach the office every day? Well, about an hour or so. Wow, that's quite a long journey. Do you drive a car? No, I take the public bus. It's safer. You're right, but I get up a little late. That gives me no other option but to travel by scooter. Well, both have advantages and disadvantages. Dialogue two. Hi, Jane. How are you doing this morning? I'm all right, thanks. Just a little tired. You worked overtime last night. Yeah, I got home at about two. Oh, you're really a workaholic. Well, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Thanks. I really appreciate that. Saying goodbye. Dialogue one. Well, I think it is time to call it a day. Me too. I'm beat. What time do you want to meet tomorrow morning? Is seven thirty okay? Oh no, too early. What about eight thirty? It is great for me. Okay. See you then. Dialogue two. Come on, Cindy. Let's go. It's five thirty. You're terribly late. Oh, I'm nearly ready. I've got to finish this report for tomorrow's meeting. How long will you finish it? About fifteen minutes. But I had better head off. I'm meeting my husband for dinner. Is he coming to pick you up? No, we'll meet at the restaurant. I've got to go now. Enjoy your evening. Thanks. Goodbye. Having lunch together. Dialogue one. It's time for lunch. Let's go. Okay, I'm hungry. Where do you want to go for lunch? I'm bored of the canteen. How about going out for lunch? Okay, but where shall we have lunch? Let's go to the food stall. There's a good one just around the corner. Everything looks tempting. That sounds good. I'd love to try. Okay, let's go. Dialogue two. Hey, John, do you have the number for that restaurant on the street corner? Yes. Hold on a second. Here it is. Eight 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 nine six one two five four. Great. Thanks. Are you ordering takeout food? Yes. Do you want something? I've got no idea. What do you want to have? Hamburger with beef and fruit juice. Um, could you pick me up a chicken salad sandwich and a large diet coke? No problem. But do you have any cash on you? I don't think I have enough. Yes. Here you are. Okay. Shopping together. Dialogue one. How about going shopping this weekend if you're free? Okay. Is there anything that you want to buy? Nothing in particular. I just haven't gone shopping for a long time. Me neither. Where shall we go? 
What about going to Women's Street? There are a lot of clothes stores there. Okay. I haven't been there before. When do you want to go? Saturday. Then we can rest on Sunday. Where do you want to meet up? How about at the Dongjumun subway station? It's near to the Women's Street. All right. See you then. Dialogue 2 Peter, do you have any plans after finishing work? I shall go shopping. I need a lot of things to furnish our new house, but I don't know where to go. Can you give me some advice? Sure. What kinds of things do you need? Well, I need kitchen utensils, bathroom accessories, cleaning and laundry accessories, things like that. Then I suggest you going to Kmart or Walmart. They are very large discount department stores. The prices are very good, and you can find everything you need for the kitchen and bathroom. That's great. When do the stores close? About 10 p.m. Why don't we go together? Okay, let's go. Working overtime. Dialogue 1. We have to work overtime today. Why don't we leave it for tomorrow? Today is the deadline. Let's get it done, even if we have to stay up all night. I'm game. Do you often work overtime? Yes. Really? Don't you get very tired after a while? I've been accustomed to it. Oh, by the way, do we get overtime pay? Of course, it's 1.5 times for workday overtime and 2 times for weekends. Dialogue 2 Mary, can you work late this afternoon? Why? I don't understand. I hate to do this to you, but I have to ask you to put in some more overtime. Did I make any mistakes? No. Just some extra work. Does it have to be done this afternoon, Mr. Fairbanks? I've already made plans. Well, I would have preferred to do it today. But if you've already made plans, we can do it tomorrow. I'd appreciate that, sir. How long do you think you'll need me to stay? About two hours. And you can take some time off some other day later. Covering for somebody. Dialogue 1. Could you cover for me on Friday? What's up? John's sister is getting married this weekend. Aren't you scheduled to be on call? Yes, but my mother-in-law will come this Friday. I have to go to the station to pick her up. You are so busy this week. All right. I will cover for you on Friday. Dialogue 2 Can you cover me for a while? I think so. Well, where are you going? I'm going to the post. Will you come back this afternoon? Yes, I'll come back as soon as possible. Okay, don't worry. I'll take care of the business for you. Answering the telephone. Dialogue 1. May I speak to Mr. John? I'm sorry, Mr. John is at a meeting now. Who is this speaking, please? Peter, how long will the meeting take? About two hours. May I give him a message? Please tell him Peter called. Okay, no problem. I'll ask him to call you as soon as he comes back. That's great. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Dialogue 2 Hello. Can I speak to Lisa? Hold on, please. I'll ask her to receive the call. I'm sorry. She is out at the moment. I see. May I leave her a message then? Sure. What's your name and number? Mike. My number is 
23106. And what's the message? Tell her I have something urgent for her. And please ask her to call me back as soon as possible. Yes, I will. Passing on the message. Dialogue 1. Hey, Mike. What's up? Somebody called you five minutes ago. Who was that? Let me see. Well, Bill. Is there anything urgent? I don't know. He said he would call you later. I see. Thank you. Not at all. Dialogue 2. There was a phone call for you when you were out for lunch. Oh, is it Mr. Zhang? Yes. What did he say? He said he was in Beijing. Anything else? Well, he wanted you to give him a call as soon as possible. What's his number? Well, 56784455. Thank you very much. Welcoming newcomers. Dialogue 1 Good morning, Sally. Good morning, Mr. Robin. I'd like you to meet our new colleague, Andy. Nice to meet you, Andy. Me too, Sally. Andy is a newcomer, so I hope you would help her as far as you can. Of course. Well, Andy, if there's anything I can do for you, let me know. Thank you very much. I'm new to the working world and would appreciate your help. That's all right. I'll try my best. Dialogue 2 Hi here. My name is Ted. You're new around here? Yes, my name is Eric. Welcome aboard. This is your seat. Some office supplies have been prepared. Thanks. You are so thoughtful. Here's your computer. If there are any problems with the computer, you can contact Xiao Li, the network administrator. How can I contact him? This is the contact information for the entire staff. Xiao Li's extension number is on the list as well as mine. Okay, thanks. The printer, copier, fax, and water dispenser are over there. Is there anything else I can do for you? Not at the moment. Thank you. Asking for help. Dialogue 1. May I bother you, Mr. Lee? I want to ask you a question. What can I do for you? I'm translating a Chinese letter to French. And there are a few sentences I don't know how to translate. Could you kindly give me some advice? Let me see. Well, they are also a bit difficult for me. When do you need it? If time allowed, I think I need to consult a dictionary to make sure. I hope I could complete it by the end of the day. The boss said he needed urgently. No problem. I will give you the answers in an hour. Dialogue 2 Hi, Sol. Do you have a free moment? Sure. What's up? Would you come with me to supply? I've got to pick up a load of stuff and I'm afraid I can't carry it all. Okay. Let me just grab my coat. Thanks. I appreciate the hand. I'd have to make two or three trips on my own. Don't mention it. I'm glad to help. Asking for opinions. Dialogue 1. Roger, I'd like to hear your opinion about my design before I hand it in. Well, it was good overall, but I think you need to make some small changes. What should I do? How do you like changing the color to light blue? It maybe looks more justified. 
Good idea. I'm going to do it at once. Good luck. Just speak with more confidence in yourself. Dialogue 2 Excuse me, Mr. Black. What do you think about my project? I'm very sorry, Kelly. I think you'll have to redo it. Redo it? Why? It's not very good. But I really don't see the value in doing this entire project over from scratch. It would take a lot of work. That's certainly true. But that's what this job is all about, Kelly. There's no doubt that this project is unacceptable. I agree. But I think that we can handle the problem by making a few major changes. I'd appreciate it if you would give me a chance. All right, Kelly. I'll give you until this afternoon at 2 o'clock to produce a satisfactory piece of work. Otherwise, you'll have to redo it. Teamwork Dialogue 1 My dear colleague, we have a new project to do. How many people will be charged in this project? The four of us are supposed to be working as a team on this project. Great! I like the teamwork. All of us can make the most of ourselves. In that way, new ideas will explode. Yes, I agree with you definitely. That is why I prefer it to working independently. What's the first step? As usual, we will have a small meeting to allocate tasks. But Lucy and Jane are absent now. Is it possible to have the meeting at 2 o'clock this afternoon? OK. I will inform them. Dialogue 2 How is your new work? Fairly well. How do you like your new colleagues? They are all pretty easygoing. Good. You should get along with others friendly and work together in teams. Yes, it is a friendly place to work. In addition, they all consider me as little sister and always help me on the work. I'm so happy to hear what you say. I will try my best to complete my first task successfully. Good luck. Thank you. Panel Discussion Dialogue 1 Good morning, everyone. The main thing I want to discuss today is how to solve the problem of redundancy. What are your opinions? I think the best course of action would be to reorganize the company and streamline the workforce. But the problem with the solution is that it would make a strong impact. Only by this way can employees perform efficiently and enthusiastically and thus make our company prosper. How do you deal with those who will be laid off? We could provide them with a fair compensation package. You do have a point. I suggest we put this issue on the vote. I go along with that. All those in favor, raise your hand. Dialogue 2 Good afternoon, everyone. Sorry about the short notice. What will we talk about? I was just informed that the board has accepted the project we applied for. I'm getting the milestones revised right now and I need to know who's available for the project team. Which kind of person do we need? We need an experienced reporting analyst. John is our best choice for this type of project. When can he join in the team? I'll offload some of his current responsibilities so he can start almost right away. Fine. Since we are under tighter time restraints, I'll need someone to assist me with workflow management. Who do you think is the suitable one? Philip is my choice. He is just finishing another major task. Falling into conflict.
Dialogue 1 Linda, I just can't stand Mary anymore. Please tell me what's happening between you and her. Perhaps I can give you some advice. I've only been on the job for a few days, and she is so hard on me. Oh, what do you think about it? She wants me to be perfect, but I need time. Anything else? She's always criticizing me. It's not fair. I'll talk with her. Dialogue 2 I'm really fed up with Helen. Why hasn't the management fired her yet? The management couldn't fire someone just because they gossip. It's not only that she spread rumors, but she also tries to start problems among other employees. You will always have such co-workers. Why am I down on my luck? You shouldn't be so negative. You only say that because you don't have to work with her. Everybody has his strengths and weaknesses. So has Helen. I hope to have a perfect co-worker to work together. Claiming Apologies Dialogue 1 Lucy, why did you do that? What's wrong? You uploaded my essay on the internet without my consent. I think it is so good that more people should read it. But it is not my intent. I really don't understand why you did it just depending on your own feeling. I think you would have the same feeling as me. Don't you think you should apologize to me? Okay, I would like to say sorry to you. I hope you won't make the same mistake next time. It gives me a lesson this time. I will remember that. Dialogue 2 Mary, did you take my camera? Yes, you were answering the phone just now, so I took it without interrupting you. But you should tell me after I hang up. I forgot. It's not an excuse. I have looked for it for a long time. What you did caused me trouble. I was not intentional. You must apologize for that. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Colleagues' Promotion Dialogue 1 I'm so happy to hear about your promotion. Congratulations! Thank you. What are your responsibilities with this new position? I'm in charge of the marketing department. So, I should call you marketing manager from now on. You are kidding again. To be honest, this promotion came as quite a surprise. You are efficient. You deserve it. Dialogue 2 Have you heard the news that Robin will be promoted to general manager? There is some gossip about this. Most people believe he will surely get the position. Yes, as a competent section manager, he has shown the potential of managing the whole company. I also think you are a prospective boss. Really? I feel flattered. Nothing is impossible. Just try your best and have confidence in yourself. Colleagues leaving Dialogue 1 Mary, I've heard you want to quit. Yes, I handed in my letter of resignation yesterday. Could I ask why you want to quit? I've already been here for too long. I think it's time to move on. Where do you want to go? I will go to X Company. Have all the formalities been attended to? Yes, I will get to work there tomorrow. Please, still stay in touch with us. I will. Dialogue 2
Philip, I will tell you some earth shattering news. What? Bill was fired. You are pulling my leg. It is the truth. When did that happen? I don't know exactly. I found out today. That's really rocking news. Yes. Why do you think he got fired? He is friendly, all right, but I don't think he is very competent. Colleagues suffering from illness. Dialogue 1. You don't sound very good. I've just got a sore throat. Are you okay? Fine. It is too dry in Beijing. Drinking more water, that will be good for you. Yes, but I don't like pure water. Then let's have some green tea. Good idea. Thanks. Dialogue 2 You don't look well. What's wrong with you? I have a pain in my insides. I wonder if I ate something bad yesterday. Do you lose stomach? Yes. Do you need taking some medicine? I just have a kind of medicine special for diarrhea. It is efficacious. I would appreciate for that. Take a seat and have a rest. I'll get you the medicine and some hot water. Colleague's birthday. Dialogue 1. I remember today is Sophia's birthday. Today is April 10th. Yes, it's Sophia's birthday. I paid all my attention to the preparations for the meeting recently and forgot to buy a gift for her totally. Is it good to send her flowers? We could ask the flower shop to send us and we'll get soon. Great. Sophia likes Lily. I will give the flower shop a call. Which color does she prefer? Maybe white. Dialogue 2 Lisa, happy birthday! Thanks! This is the latest intensive eye cream. It is a gift for you. I'm too happy to say any word to you. You're welcome. Now I'm using it. It focuses skin's energies on repairing of eye area wrinkles. The eye area wrinkles are really big problems. I am also looking for a suitable product. You could try this one. Okay, thank you very much. Colleague's Wedding Dialogue 1 Why didn't you come to work yesterday? I got the marriage certificate yesterday. What a surprise it is. Congratulations. Thank you. So you are married man. Yes. You'll never see a bachelor in the office anymore. When do you plan to hold the wedding ceremony? This October. Will it be held in Beijing? Yes. I hope you will attend at that time. I'll come for sure. Dialogue 2 Congratulations! Thanks a lot for attending our wedding ceremony. You are the most beautiful bride. Really? I'm so happy to hear that. As Chinese people say, a woman has the most beautiful face during her wedding ceremony. It's certainly true. I'm sure you will be more beautiful in your wedding ceremony. I hope so. I'm delighted to see you are so happy. May fortune smile upon you in your new life together. It is nice of you. I'm moved. Declining Love Dialogue 1 Helen, do you have a few minutes now? What's up? If you don't mind, I'd like to ask you a question. Just go ahead. As you know, I'm single. Could you be my girlfriend? It's exceedingly sudden and unexpected. Thank you for your love. However, I have no plan for that kind of thing. 
Forgive me for my venture, please. It doesn't matter. We are still friends, aren't we? Of course. Dialogue 2 Lucy, I'd like to talk something with you. What's the matter? Why are you prunes and prism today? I don't know how to express myself. It's not your style. Speak out directly. I hope you can be my girlfriend. John, are you kidding me? It's not April Fool's Day. I'm not kidding. I'm serious. I consider you as my good friend at all times, so... I know what you mean. Don't I have any chance? I think we'd better be friends. Borrowing Dialogue 1 Susan, could I bother you some minutes? Sure, what's the matter? I want to buy a house with a mortgage. I've heard about that. I must pay 30% of the purchase price for that house firstly, then pay the monthly installment. Is that what we call down payment? Yes, but I don't have enough money. I want to borrow some from you, and I will give you in this November. How much do you want? 20,000 yuan. Okay, I will give it to you tomorrow after drawing from the bank. I really don't know how to thank you. Just my pleasure. Dialogue 2 Philip, could I borrow your car? What's wrong with yours? I was just about to leave, but I found there was no petrol in the car. Okay, where will you go? I will go to B Company to send some materials to Jessica. Fortunately, you found that beforehand. Otherwise, it is trouble to know on the way. Yes, where did you park your car? On the left side of the underground parking garage, a black car. What's the plate number? JN1234.